Welcome back everyone. Today we'll be drafting the basic bodice pattern. So first of all, I went ahead to roll a straight line that will be serving as our shoulder line. Then from there I went down to take our bust measurement that is from your shoulder to your bust point. You take that measurement. Then from your shoulders to the under bust also, you take the measurements. Just measure wherever you want to make it for, from the shoulder down to the bust, then under bust. So the next measurement to be getting is from the shoulder to the length. Where you want your, if it's a blouse where you want it to stop. So the length I'm working with is 18 inches. So I'm just marking that all through. So next you're just going to ro roll those lines. Those dots we've made, we're just going to connect it. Now we're done doing that, next we're going to go over and take the shoulder measurement. So the shoulder measurement, you're just going to measure from one end of your shoulder to the other. Then you divide the measurement by two because you're going to be cutting this on a fold. So you mark it, then you go down by one inch from that point you mark. You go down by one inch, then from that one inch, you're going to take an armhole measurement. So with that, I'm just going to extend my shoulder measurements so I can get a very straight line. And next I'll just use my ruler to connect those dots together. So after doing that I'm just going to extend that line and that line will serve as a chest line now after doing that you're just going to take a nipple to nipple measurement the nipple to nipple measurement i'm working with is eight inches we'll divide it by two then it's giving me four inches so i'm just marking it there on the bust line the under bust line and the waist line so i'll just connect those lines So now what I'm going to do next to get uh, that line, we'll go to the waistline, then take half an inch on both sides. I'll do that to the waistline, then from the bust line, I'll go down by one inch. So I'm just going to indicate the line so we know what we're doing. So that's the bust, this the under bust, then the waist. So after doing that, I'm going to come to the under bust and measure also half an inch on both sides. So we take half an inch just like we did for the waist. Now we're just going to connect, use a straight rule to connect the waist to the underbust on both sides. Then we'll connect the underbust to the one inch we came down by from the bust point. Because our dart will not extend to the bust point directly, so it's just one inch below the bust point. Alright, so after that, now we're just going to take our body measurement. So you take your bust measurement divided by four, you impute the measurement, then you add your seam allowance. So the seam allowance I'm working with is 1.5. So I take my waist measurement divided by four, then I'll add both the dart allowance I took, which is half inch on both sides to give us one inch, then plus my swim allowance of one inch, that's two inches I'm marking there on the waist. So I'll just connect those lines together. First, I'll connect the main body measurements together. Then I'll go ahead and collect my seam allowance together also. So guys, you're almost done redrafting the front pattern. So 
I'll just go ahead and determine my neck width. The neck width I'm working with is 3 inches. That's the basic neck width. Then the neck depth is also 3 inches for basic drafting. So I'm just going to connect those lines. But to get a perfect, like a perfect um, round, I'll go down by 3 inches and also by 3 inches on the width. So I'll just go in by 1 inches. From that 3 inches we've gotten, then I'll just connect. So that way you get a very round neckline. So now to get our shoulder slope, we'll connect the neck width to that one inch we came down by on the shoulders. So just connect it and that's our shoulder slope. So now I'm just going to extend the measurement I have for the boss uh, measurement. I'm going to put it on the chest line. So it's um, the same measurement you have on the boss point. Same measurement to be at the chest line. So I'm just going to um, connect that. All right, next you're just going to measure the armhole measurement. Then we'll divide it by two, half of it. So I have eight inches. Then half of it is four. From that point to mark, I'm going to go in by half an inch. So I'm going to connect those three lines I just pointed to you. So just watch how I do it. If you have a curve, you can make a curve with it. If not, it's a free hand. You can use a free hand for it. So you measure from that point to the half an inch. Then it will meet our body's measurement. So this armhole is for the front pattern. Then the back pattern, I'm just going to illustrate how it will be because I'll be using the front to cut the back. So from that half of the armhole we took, I'm just going to curve it to the um, chest line. We don't need to go in for the back pattern, just a straight curve, a curve, sorry. But if you have a curve, rule, you could just do this at this point. So guys, that's all for this basic pattern for the front so i'm just going to cut it out so when i'm cutting the armhole i'm cutting the back armhole i'm not cutting the front yet because i'll be using the front to cut the back so i'll be cutting the back armhole for now so guys, we'll get a fresh paper for the back bodies. So I'm just going to mark half an inch for zipper allowance. You can use any inches you want, but for the purpose of this video, I'm using half an inch. I'm just going to measure it all the way down. After ruining it, I'm going to put the front bodies to the back from the zipper allowance. It won't be the same like width to start from the zipper allowance. So I'm just going to mark the neck depth for the back. I'm using 1.5. That's the standard for a basic bodies. 1.5 for the back. Then we are going to use the same neck width, which was 3. I'm just going to mark the same neck width with the front. So after that, we don't really have much work for the back because all the work we've done is at the front. So I'm just going to cut out the neckline for the back. And next, I'm just going to go ahead and cut the back using the front pattern. Now we are done with cutting the back bodies now we can cut out the original armhole for the front so 
I'm just going to set the front pattern aside. Now the final thing, you're going to go in by half an inch at the waist measurement. This is to um, remove every form of zip bulge because there are some dresses you see and at the waist line you see a bulge. So to eliminate that bulge, you're going to go by half an inch and just do a slant line up to the neck depth. Just like this. So we're just going to cut out that um line to get a perfect zip because our back truly is not straight so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye